This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas, a shovel from the dollar store that came with a bucket. I'll probably be using that shortly. I have prison pour and primary alone paints from Color Art, and there is a 20% off coupon below the video. Should you happen to want to shop there, I'm an affiliate and you'll help me out. This first one is the ba some base I'm going to use in the pan that I'm going to scoop my colors out of. This is Misty Veil. It's a prism pour. I'm planning on having to fill up that container with paint, which is a lot of paint, honestly. I'm going to use some black iris, another prism pour. I'd like to make the configuration of the colors random, and I don't have any choice. I've got to overlap them. I'm going to move that away. Um, I've got some quinacridone nickel, quinacridone nickel azo gold from Golden, which reminds me a lot of the Forbidden Ruin, which is a primary element. Come on, open. I haven't used this yet. And I have another one, Baltic Amber, is coming next, which is even more of a rem reminiscence. Putting the colors I don't have to feel like I see the most of in the bottom first. This is that Baltic Amber. I've been waiting to see how close it is. And it's very close. Oh, look at that. So this might take a minute. And I will put the list of colors underneath the video. I've got some black raspberry that I want to use up so I can make a new batch in that bottle. Hoping I remember. There's the lid. I found it. <laughs> Yay! I might want some more of that in a while. So it's possible. I have some royal sapphire. She looks like a brighter version of the black iris. I have a little bit of frozen. Both the, both the royal sapphire and the frozen are prim, uh, prism pores. I'm going to use a rogue element in here after I use this wintergreen prism pour. Whoops. Moody Lilac. Moody Lilac will be good for the sky, but I'm going to use a little bit in the, in the bottom because I can. Um, Mother of Pearl, no. I've got Sea Dancer, which I've been trying to use up. Let me grab a Princeton Artel Cattle Spatula. That is a primary element. And hopefully it will behave. That's going in the bucket. I like the square containers, but when it gets when they get down to the end, I'm not sure what to do. This is mermaid scales. Not coming off fast enough. I don't even know if I want to use all that up. Maybe if I add a little bit more vivid enamel or vivid polypore to it, I can bring it back to life. This is a little poinsettia. Just for something different. I used to add some pink and I probably will again in the future to a landscape. Did I say I used Baltic Amber? Yes. I'm going to want more greens, I can tell you now. The Fandango. I had to clear the tip after the last video. Got some Neptune's Gaze. You could use just a few colors and still do the same thing. But I have the colors, so I want to use them. I have some Deep Amethyst. Another Prism Pour. I haven't used any of the Mayan Gold and I want to.
I will more than likely, oops, I covered up my amethyst, um, swipe out some of this. The last time I did this, I got um, some really beautiful little rock wall effects by swiping. This is black raspberry again. It doesn't look like enough color yet to me. So let's throw something in weird like primary element firefly. So I can at least pretend to fill up. Oh, I found it. I found the ginger peach. I was looking for this last time. I remembered what I what I wanted to put in here and it's green tea, which is a primary element. might want a little blue just because how about some cerulean blue which is really spectacular whoops especially if you remember to mix it first well that ought to make things different those are some interesting colors let me put that down over here and put a little cover on it so it doesn't dry out. Not that it could, but it could glop up on me and I'd rather have it covered than not while it's waiting in the wings. And now I'm gonna try, maybe I should turn that around. Try and make a sky. And I'm gonna do Moody lilac. It's going to be a moody sky. And a black iris. I kind of want to put something weird in there like shiny taffeta. And I think I will. It might be, it might not work. It could be strange. We'll find out together, I guess. Um, so I've got black raspberry again. No, I think I want something more like Twilight Orchid. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with the ginger peach. Primary element again. And maybe some more of the Nicolazo gold. Here's some ambrosia. This is a pr prison pour. I think I shook this. I hope so. That looks like enough paint for right now. I want to be sneaky and put a little tiny dab of this Twilight Orchid in here. And see what that looks like. It's time to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula from Good Groups on my Amazon link, on my link tree, underneath show more, right under the video. I'm going to move a few bottles out of the way. Grab my spatula and cross your fingers and wish me luck. take some of these colors and put them right on the edge right now so I don't have a spatula completely full of colors when I continue across. I don't think it can hurt anything. It's a very dramatic sky, which is what I wanted. don't mind if there's a bunch of paint up at the top. I don't usually get it up there and I usually have a sort of a, a, you can see the canvas through the paint. It's a bit of a void usually. 
Not this time. Not if I'm lucky, anyway. <laughs> and as I say it, you can see it even worse than you've ever seen it before. I expect to get rid of that right now. So I'm going to take the break out on my... I'm going to take that thing out of there, too. <laughs> Where are my tweezers? My tweezers are on the Amazon link also. That's a beautiful sky. It may require another go. You can't go back and forth too many times. I do like to scrape the paint off in a little dish. That way I can use it to touch up edge spots. they need it. I wish that top edge would behave. But there is always tomorrow. It's not impossible to put another layer of paint down. Okay, so I like that. And I think since I see what I see, I said I'd save that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use it at the horizon line. And throw my little dish into my bucket. Where did I put the black iris? I think there's the black iris. And since I'm here, I'm going to do some more of that deep amethyst. Loving that sky. Now I could have squeeze bottled on all the colors that I have in my dish, but I wanted to put them in my dish. I'm doing this just so I don't have to worry about it after I put my colors down. And it will give me a good horizon. Where'd my tweezers go? Is it a bubble? What are you thing? Just a little filament of paint. Someday I'm going to figure out how to add a lot more dimension to my to my artworks. But right now this is okay with me. Now it's time. I'm nervous. I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket because I have another one. So what color do I put down? Do I put down some black? I think I'm going to put down some black. Need and black. I don't know if that's enough or not. I'm definitely going to spread it around. Try and up my game whenever possible by, by changing what I do to a degree so that I have an opportunity to discover new ways of doing things, and that is this. I like the black. I'm putting that in the bucket too. It's time to do the dishes, darling. Let's grab and scrape off the bottom. Looks like I got plenty of paint. A lot of times I used to start all on one side and tip everything over, and I could do that again. I could also scrape out my shovel. I'm just going to keep going here. And one more. 
I wanted to make sure I had enough paint this time to go all the way down and up, also up. But I might have more paint than I know what to do with in a second. <laughs> So I'm going to go this way first, and then back the other way, and hope it will hope it will travel. And I have a nice short head catcher. I'm just going to do the bottom half of this. Make a tight seal. Timing is everything, and that's bad timing. Okay, things are moving though. I'm getting somewhere, I think. Blow that bubble out. Push that paint right back on again. I have a longer edge catcher and I'm going to use it. And hopefully I can get away with this. Where is my longer edge catcher? There it is. Wait, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, and I dripped on my arm. Go figure. It's bound to happen. Let's take that. Let all of that go down. I should have gone on, on a diagonal across the sheet. So as soon as I get paint down there, yes, and I'm leaving a fingerprint on the top. I'm going to rock it and I'm going to send it right back into the to the artwork and then I have occasion to remove. Right now it's the edge catch is too big to remove so give me a moment. And that's where I would normally, if I had no paint left in my pan, that's where I would get my paint for my trees. But right now I have enough paint in my pan. I just want to be able to cover it. Let's cover it. Let's pretend to cover it. Let's put my shovel down somewhere else. All right, so I should show that to you because we're running out of time. Let that go up. Come on. <laughs> my turntable is very frisky today. Very. Well, I have plenty of extra color to cover, and what I really want to do is grab my new palette knife, put some black cell activator into a dish. That's Australian Floetrol with Amsterdam black. Wipe it off in between. Grab some gold, Pepeo Iridescent Precious Gold. Where's my scrape dish? I know I have one. I'm going to have some extra paint. I'm going to have to do something with it. Okay, more black. I've got one minute left, and I can't get this done in a minute, I don't believe. So, unless I'm coming back, and I could, which I guess I have no choice, I should still show this to you right now. I'm not getting to shimmer it at you, which kind of stinks because that's a, what happened in the last video. It's it's a time-consuming process for sure. <laughs> but I am getting some nice patterns in here. I'm going to try and zoom in. I will try and shimmer it at you, even though you'll be gone in a second. Looks like a sun with my light shining in it. 